You're watching KPVI News at 10 Weekend. News that works for you. What a beautiful way to start the weekend with clear conditions and highs just about right. But do you know what? Those highs are going to get a little bit higher as the week goes on next week. Let's take a look at your storm tracker. As we mentioned earlier, nothing out there. No cloud cover, just beautiful clear skies. Now, as we move around to the Pacific Northwest and into the Mountain West states, you can see this system moving in through parts of Southeast Wyoming and through parts of Colorado as well, where they're getting rain and some showers. But nothing here. Our wind tracker right now, very light winds. Yeah, you can see, remember Wednesday, Thursday, we had those gusts up to 25, 35 miles per hour. Actually, the warmer we get, the more we could use some of those gusts just to try and cool us off. So overnight tonight, clear skies are, this is the nice thing about getting the really hot summertime weather is actually we're cooling off at night. You know, we're getting into the 40s and 50s for those overnight lows. And then as we move to the highlands in western Wyoming, clear skies, Jackson 43 the low tonight, Afton 44, Yellowstone 37, 47 for Driggs and Soda Springs in the Nyland Park, a comfortable 46 degrees. In through the central mountains, we are expecting in clear skies as well. Salmon, that half century mark. Leto at 44, Stanley 34, Chalice 48 for the overnight low, Mackey 49, and Arco 51. Now, tomorrow is going to start a warming trend, and we're going to see those daytime temperatures get up into where we should be for this time of year. It is summer after all. So, sunny skies with some light winds in through the central mountains. We'll be pushing into the mid to upper 80s for much of the region, 90s for salmon, 93 for the high in Chalice. As we look to the highlands, in western Wyoming, Island Park hitting 82, Driggs 84. Of course, you know, you have a little bit cooler mountain air going on. But as we get into Yellowstone, 75 for the high tomorrow, Afton 84, Jackson at 85 degrees. Now, that heat is really going to take effect in through the Snake River Plain. As you can see, 90s for Idaho Falls and Rexburg, St. Anthony, 88 degrees, American Falls 93, 94 for Blackfoot and Pocatello. And those high temperatures are only going to get warmer. As we take a look at your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer's seven day forecast, look at that. We are going to be flirting with the 100 degree mark coming up on Monday. So hot temperatures Sunday. It's, we're just going to run the board. Hot temperatures all week long. Now, we do have a bit of a chance of some unstable weather coming in Tuesday evening. Could develop into a thunderstorm or two. We'll know uh, better as we get closer to Tuesday. And for Idaho Falls, we're looking at more hot temperatures. 90s for the highs Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Slight chance of some unstable air moving in Tuesday evening. But uh, overnight lows in the 50s and low 60s. Rexburg, yeah, we're going to be uh, pushing those high temperatures up mid 90s for Monday and Tuesday. A little bit uh, bit of a break from the heat. If you need to escape it, go into uh, Jackson Afton and Driggs. Highs in the 80s, low 90s. A chance of some thunderstorms, slight chance on Monday and Wednesday evening. And in through the Central Mountains, yep, you guessed it, high temperatures in the 90s. No.